All right, happy Wednesday. Let's uh let's get started. Let's see. Um yeah, so where I left off yesterday was I was working on the front end stuff. Actually, I think I still have password manager running. Um yeah, I was working on some front end stuff, and that's what I'm gonna keep working on today, trying to get the uh uh UI functionality to create an exercise. So right now, what do I have? If I just run it. Um so I have this main menu. Um you know, click into exercises. And right now it just shows the modal, the add exercise modal, which is not what I want. Um, I want it to go into the exercises menu where it lists all the exercises and then you can add a add an exercise <clears throat> um, there. So this clicking this needs to go to the exercises menu. And so I need to actually write an exercises menu. Um, so I have main menu. Um, yeah. So let's see. What is this going to be? Exercises. I could do menu exercises or exercises menu. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to call it. Okay. And... Oh, that was the other... That was the other um, thing I was trying to figure out yesterday. Was, do I want to make all of these different menu pages their own routes, or do I just make them sub components of the main menu component. And I think what I decided to do was I was just going to I was just going to make it a sub component of the main menu component. Um yeah, that's that's what I was going to do. And so in order to do that I'm going to need to do something like this. That's not what it's not going to stay there. Um, all right, so function exercises menu. Um, it's not a modal, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so this menu is actually going to be very similar to the main menu it's just going to be a list of stuff but i am going to need to get the exercises from somewhere and for right now i think i'm just going to hard code them because i don't want to call the back end yet um so yeah i mean it's going to look very very similar to this <clears throat> So I'll just go ahead and copy that uh, class name. I wonder if I should just do menu or I'll just copy the code, whatever. Um, class name. Exercises. List group. And this is where I'm going to need to iterate over a list. And I did this in the password manager. So I'm pretty much just going to copy that again. Um, yeah. So if I have... <clears throat> Let's see. Con I'm going to need to do this.
So I want exercises, right? And set exercises. But how do I? All right. Um, so this is going to be an array. Uh, okay. There we go. Um, so React functional component array. That's just how to define it. How to use array in state. There we go. Constant fill layout array five dot fill. Um, React use state. <clears throat> A label with dot push, interesting. All right, so it looks like we have to, I don't know how to render them. I want to initiate, initialize them. Oh, here we go. Here's an array, const component array, return component array, dot map callback function. Okay, this is what I want. Yeah. Ray dot map. Yes, that's what I want to map. Okay, so I can just create an array, looks like, yeah. Um, and I think I'm just going to do, let's just do push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups. <clears throat> Okay, and now there should be a way. Where I can do exercises list. Where it's going to be exercises dot map. Array item, array item index, whole array. I don't need that. So I can do exercise index. And this will go here. Maybe I need that. Dot map. Dot map. Oh, okay. And I'm going to move this back. And now in here, it's going to be list group item. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do it there. Um script dot item and what do I I think I just wanna print action on click. There's no on click. I think I just wanna do exercise. Yeah. those 
and then export default. We just pull up sit-ups. I'm sure I did something wrong here, but we'll get to that. Um, oh, do I need to... Yes. <clears throat> I need to do this. Okay. And I probably need to copy all this stuff. And sure, let's copy all of this. Dot slash. Here's the new dot CSS. So I'm going to double. I'm double including that. I guess we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I may only need to include this once. But we'll, I'll, I'll test that later. Um, okay. All right, main menu, exercises, oh, duh. Um, and then this is how we go. Okay. Const open exercises set open exercises just to false. Exercise menu set. <clears throat> okay, so now I need to do this if command. Where I do if if let's do exercises menu. Oh, I also need a back button. Well, I'll, I'll get to that. Um, return. What? Um, exercises menu. Yeah, I'm going to need a back button here. Okay, actually, this is menu. Oh, I didn't import it. Um, import. 
Module build felled. The scoop item. Unexpected token expected, comma. Interesting. But it's something wrong here. Um, let's see. This dot state up. Yeah, see, it doesn't have. I don't think that's going to fix it. Yeah. That doesn't do anything. List group item exercise index. All right. All right. Module build fell, tracker expected, comma. Unexpected token. Open define exercise, define exercise, close define exercise. Where are these? Okay, well, I don't need that. Main menu, 63, 64. Oh, down here. Oh, on here, open exercises menu. All right, so now it's just this expected token. Okay, map into this array item. Okay, maybe it doesn't need the brackets. Well, that doesn't make sense. It would need the brackets. Oh, unless I'm missing brackets. Am I missing brackets? No, not missing brackets. Old array dot map. I don't want that. All right, this is what I want right here. Map. Name, birthday, ID, name, birthday, ID. Why does this have two parentheses? The map that, oh, okay. So supposedly there's another one that needs to go here. No. I mean, I can do it this way. Unexpected token. Why is it telling me that's the unexpected token? All right. 
<clears throat> export default function. Same error. Right, creating a component that gets directly rendered. So return. Div. Birthday array. Dot map. Which is what I do. Oh, wait a minute, something's wrong. Okay, I'm missing, uh, okay. My order is out. That's why. There we go. And this breaks. Open define exercise is not defined. Div main menu, open exercise menu, open exercises menu, open exercises menu. Where would it be? Main menu 56. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Each shot on list should have a unique key. Yeah, that's a warning. Okay, cool. So that that did exactly what I wanted. Now I want to clean this up. Um, can I do it the way I wanted to do it, which was exercise index? And... Let's see. Oh, God. Interesting. Okay, so now I want to go back to what I had. Okay, cool. And so now I have the index and I should list group item says I need to have a key for them, which is fine. I can do that. Um, is it just simply what key equals index?
Yep. Okay. Sweet. Um. Okay. So now I have this list working. And I'm just going to add a button. Probably need a search and a button. So I'm going to need, I'm going to have a kind of like how I did the password manager, except it's not going to be as, um, there's not going to be as many button clicks as the password manager. And I'll show you why. Um, let me pull it up. If I can remember where I had it. Well, I was running it on one of these terminals. Huh. There it is. So this is the password manager. Um, and right here, there is a kind of like an edit button. Or, you know, if you go into the secret and you want to add stuff, you have to go into the edit mode and then it all gets edited. It makes it editable. Um, and then you can, you know, cancel, you know, save or cancel any changes. Um, the reason I did it this way was, well, one, this is generally how just password managers in general do it like you go into an edit mode and you can make changes but it's also i would say dangerous to um to like have editable editable buttons in the um in the standard page because you're gonna be clicking on a lot of things but now that i think about it I might I might actually do the same thing now that I think about it. I'm also going to need to have a uh, search bar somewhere, probably at the top. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to make it the same thing, except that's not editable. Although maybe I was hoping like I, I this is what I'm worried about is that when you have too much, you're going to have a long list and the add button is going to be at the end. Um, so if you have a long list of extras, you're going to have to scroll to the very bottom. So what I want it, I want the add button at the bottom right. So, you know, if you want to add one, you just click it. Um, but I also want to be able to delete them. So maybe I just have a delete key on there as well. And this is just an add, an add button. Yeah, I think because I don't need all these buttons. So I can just add the trash can if you want to delete one. Okay, I think that I think that'll work. I think that'll work. So I, I I'll just make this an add button. Um. So I need the two buttons at the bottom to add an exercise, which is let me get to here. How did I do that? This is how I did it. I had a back button and a and a uh add button or, or an edit button. 
So I had two buttons at the bottom. And this is it. Okay. So exercises menu. I guess it's all going to go in here. Oh boy. This does not auto format the way Go does. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay, I think I have everything. Okay, so now I can do it the way I need to. Pop bars div one two. Nav item. Okay. Nav item. Another nav item. Div. There we go. Okay. Um, I think that's all formatted correctly now. So link to nav item, it's not going to be a, there's not going to be a link to nav item div. Yeah. It's not going to be a link to anything. It's just going to be a button. And it's going to be an on click. So right now it's not going to do anything. Size large on click. And now I need the image. Okay, yeah. So. Let's see, what do I want? Check, X mark, trash. What's this? So right now I'm just looking at the images from the, like the little icons. That's what I want. I want to bring over the icons. Did I leave it open? Yeah. So like these these icons at the bottom, like the back button, the edit button, like I want these icons, so I need to find them. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, run in source assets images. I probably don't need any of that stuff anymore. 
But I do like having the assets file. I'll leave it in there for now. All right. Um, password manager. Oh, you know what? Front end source assets icons. Okay. I'm just going to copy the whole directory. Um, password manager, front end source components. Uh, okay. Into run in source assets. Perfect. Now there's actually there's a license. There's a license for these images that I need to figure out. It may be the same as the bootstrap license because I think they're bootstrap images. Um, yeah, okay. I think it's the same license as the bootstrap, as the bootstrap uh, code. Okay, so now I can import this stuff. Import. Arrow left. Import arrow left from so that goes assets icons arrow ninety degree left dot SVG. And then import plus circle. Um, I'll test a few of these out. See which ones I like more. Assets, icons, plus circle, but that's VG. All right, now I should be able to use these. Class name variant, click right here. All right, so this should be plus circle. And this should be... Arrow left. Error module build failed. Let's just refresh. Yep. All right. And cut error. Module build failed. Unexpected token size. Variant button, class name, variant source, error left. Unexpected token. 35 button div class name nav item nav item variant dark div div nav nav arrow left arrow left Variant size on click image source button. All 
Okay, I'm not sure. Oh. No, that's all fine. Class name, class name. That should all be fine. Button. Yep. Nav. Fill. Class name. That's all fine. And then nav item. Div class name. I, mean, I just copied. I just straight up copied this. Class name. Nav lock. Maybe I need. Well, I mean, it's not going to. It's just not going to. Class name nav edits. That's not why it's breaking though. I don't know why it's breaking. Should be there. That. Module build, um, yeah, unexpected token thirty four at size. Okay, maybe it doesn't like the size. Huh. Oh, I need I need the white. I need the white um arrow left. Why doesn't it like size? These don't do anything. All right, so it was size that it didn't like. So, so I can bring back on click. Okay, maybe it wasn't size. Maybe it was on click that I didn't like. Okay, I don't know if those look any bigger. Um, but sure, we'll go with it. So I guess the empty on clicks, it didn't, it didn't like the empty on clicks. Um, I need this circle to be the white circle. And I don't know if I have that one. So I have the plus circle.
and the arrow left. All right. Where is the plus circle? Huh. Oh, do I just change the color? How did I do this before? Um... Path, path, view box, height, fill, current color. Current color, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Circle. Yep, sweet. I got the white circle. Okay. Um, all right, what's next? So I have. Back button and all right, so let's get the back button working. Let's get the back button working. And that should not be that difficult. Okay. So open exercises menu, exercises menu. Now I have to remember how to pass in. Yeah, okay. Um Back is equal to close exercises menu. I think that's how to do that. And then button back. This should be on click props dot back. Right? No. Oh. On click equals prop stop back. Wrong one. Main menu exercises back. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right, we're getting there. So back button works. Yeah. Um, now what I want to do, probably, probably, so I need to now query, I actually need to query these, um, and add more, well, actually, let me, let's just get the modal working, let me get the modal working, and then I'll do that, so I need this modal. in here. Define exercise modal.
And now I wish I hadn't deleted it from here. I deleted all of it, didn't I? Yep. All right. So, um, add exercise. So, add exercise. So, close add exercise. And then open add exercise. No. New exercise. Add exercise or new exercise? do new. Okay, so now we do what? New exercise where show I can't believe I deleted it. Okay. Show New exercise modal. Yeah. Show is equal to add exercise and then there has to be an on hide. Yep. Is equal to Close, add exercise, and this is going to be on click. Um, open, add exercise. All right, something's wrong. New exercise modal. Module build failed. Adjacent must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. Oh. I think it needs to be in the div. Open add exercise is not defined. Add exercise is not defined. Pretty sure they are. Oh, new exercise, yeah. Okay. Uncaught reference. Open. Oh, I'm just going to refresh. There we go. Sweet. Okay. So I've got the, uh, I've got this pretty much working in the back button. Maybe I need some buttons down there. Like a back button down there because eh, maybe not I don't know or maybe I need to put them maybe I need to put them up top like have the back button up top but I like I like having the navigation buttons at the bottom because if you're holding the phone it's easier to click Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll keep it at the bottom. That's fine. Um. Okay. I need to style this modal, but that's fine too. 
So theoretically, this should um, build. Sweet. And then where's the password manager? Yeah, see, here's the thing. The buttons are not correct. These buttons are supposed to be the same size. Oh, those are supposed to be the same. Okay, I'm going to have to... Maybe that's just CSS stuff. These are supposed to be the same size. So something's wrong. And then the background color is not set either. I need, like, the gray background color. Okay. But I think that is simply CSS stuff that I don't have yet. Um, Hmm. Let's see. It should just be these, the large, the size large. It's weird that that's not. Button variant dark size large. Yeah, that should that should be it. Um Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll be right back.
All right, so let's try and let's try and fix these things. So class name and class name, maybe. I have Phil, BG dark, fixed bottom, justify content thinner. Nav, fill, nav, item, BG grid, BG dark, variant, dark. So I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'm not going to worry about the class names. Unless I have... Yeah. Oh. Where did it go? Oh, I, um, cut it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are still small. And the background's supposed to be gray. Um, and these are not the full size. So let's see. List group item. Class name entry list. List group item. Entry list. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm just looking at CSS stuff, trying to find nav title 48, title, font size, yeah, entry list, margin. Margin bottom, oh, I'm gonna actually need that. Background color. Maybe that's what I need, but that should be in the whole thing. Li ul secret li secret. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure all this stuff out. Should be a map somewhere. Yeah. List group item row column secret list. Nav cancel. Size large. Unless the new bootstrap. Unless there's some new one. <clears throat> or I could make the bottom 
48 pixels and just have it. I might, that might be what I've done. Um, yeah. Yeah. Background color D3, D3, D3. All right, so it's only in one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, like the background color should be gray. It's not. Or there's no background. That could be it as well. Um, Oh, you know what I need to do? Oh. So I didn't find it. Okay. Alright, so it's only in the one. Which is fine. Main menu is right here. Dev, div, class name, main menu. So at the very least, the main menu should have this background color. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to copy style, remove margins and bullets. I don't think that did anything. Um, elements. Yeah, there's some way I can style those. It's not through those. Nav title, title. Okay, so it's not in here. Oh, well, not definitely not in that one. UL background, nope. Where would it be? Maybe secrets. This is what I dislike about 
front end development. It's getting all this stuff really correct. Yeah, like why isn't the background Why isn't the background Oh, maybe the back Oh, maybe that's why. Okay. Entry list, margin bottom 48. I mean, I need to do that. I'm missing something. App, background color. I think this is what it is. Um, and I think I need to do, oh, this can all go away. I think what I need to do is, yeah, right here. No. Okay. And then turn routers. Class name equals app. Somewhere I need to set. I need to set this stuff. Class name main menu. Margin absolute transform, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know how long I want to keep working on this. So I think I'm just going to Take a break for now on that. That didn't really do anything, right? Yeah. That didn't do anything. Main menu, <clears throat> yeah, background color. Main menu. <clears throat> oh, <sorry. clears throat> And I have it in the same here. Actually, I mean, background color D3. <clears throat> I don't think I need this stuff. I think it'll still work. Yeah, it still works.
Okay, I'll figure that out later. Um, what else is there to figure out? So the list items are still small. I don't like that. Um, yeah. Class name exercises list. Probably don't need this yet, but I don't need that. Yeah, and now it has the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so now it has a margin. <clears throat> these, I need... This, I need to have... Where are these? Where is it? This is 490 by 480. This is 490 by 34. Yeah. So maybe I just set the height of this. Wherever that is. Nav. Yeah, I think this needs to, this height needs to be different. And it's going to be somewhere in here. Uh, let's let's grab for this. Nav title, but not nav. That snav item. Bottom. There we go. Class name. Nav item. Button. Nav cancel. Nav save. Okay, um, so class name, <coughs> nav bar, so we have nav bar nav, and then we just have nav. So what do I want to say? Just say like footer, nav footer. Nav footer. And what's it? Height. Hey, look. Well, that kind of worked. We I mean, got the size I wanted. But now the buttons are really weird. I mean, I could probably center the buttons, but... 
490 by 48. So, before I do this, though, all right, so with large buttons, I have 490 by 34. If I get rid of the size, Four ninety by thirty. Interesting. Okay, so they are slightly smaller. So is there a extra large button? Let's see, bootstrap. Bootstrap, button size, large. No, large is the largest one. I just don't know why they would be different. Uh, hey champ, how's it going? Uh, if you're back in and go, are you using go with, uh, Wasm? Uh, no. At least I don't think so. I don't even know what, what is Wasm. WebAssembly. Um, I'm not sure if that, so the platform is, or the framework I'm using is called Wells. Um which allows you to call like from front end you can call the go code from the front end and i don't know what they're using i don't know if he's using WebAssembly to do this um but yeah the framework is wells is this depends on your requirements? Uh, maybe it's web view. Yeah. So whatever web view is. Yeah. Looks like it's just back end code. Uh, what do you mean by backend code? Yeah, I mean the Go code, like the Go, the Go is just like straight up Go code. Um, and then you kind of hook into it. Don't need that. And then it's just like, there's a hook into it. Where you define a struct that has the functions and then it can call it. Um, but yeah. Little class name nav nav item. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to. I mean, this, I think, I vaguely remember doing this where I wanted the bottom the bottom size to be the same as the top size. And I work, and I remember, I remember working on this and getting this working maybe i will just go back and look at i just don't remember how i did it there's probably a fill or something i mean i can get the 48 pixels maybe that's what i do i just grab for 48 pixels everywhere Height, height. So secret and password manager, but those are. I 
Okay. Yeah, no, this is, uh, um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, it's definitely using front end stuff, uh, to do, or it's using, um, like web, like JavaScript stuff, JavaScript, HTML, CSS for the front end, but, um, I'm not sure if it's using WebAssembly. Where's the other height? Nav, yeah, see nav title, margin bottom. So somehow, somehow I got the bottom to be 48 pixels. And I don't remember how I did that. Button entry. I mean, it looks like it should just happen, right? There has to be like a fill somewhere. Nav fill. Yeah. And then it goes to the bottom. Nav fill. But why isn't the bottom? That doesn't matter. Size large on click. Yeah. I don't know if how long I want to spend working on this. The other thing I want to figure out is why the list group, why the, hold on. I don't think I had much, I, didn't, I don't think I changed anything. Okay, so the things that bother me are that these are not the same. Go back. Oh, those are the same. Interesting. Okay, those list items are the same. Well, now that's just bizarre. Why are this? Why are these bigger? Okay, well that solves one mystery. Those are the same, probably just because I don't, like there has to be something with these icons then that make them bigger. I didn't even, I may have noticed that when I was making this. Um, I think it's gotta be these buttons that do it. Um, but the the bottom doesn't change though. So it's the icons, the icons that are making the rows bigger. Um, so the icons are making the rows bigger. Interesting.
So that solves one mystery. The other one is I don't have the background color. Which is fine. I don't need the background color. And then the last one is why... Why aren't the buttons bigger? That's 10 pixels. So these are, well, 14 pixels maybe. But this is... 34. I, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did. Um, yeah. Yeah, so now those are the same size. But the images aren't centered now. Which maybe I just... I mean, those that should just be a fairly simple... No. Yeah. That should just be filling like with the buttons. Um, yeah, the nav item. I mean, does that work? No. Let's see, where are the developer tools? Okay, so it's the D grid. Button's fine, it's the div. Div, I need to center. Justify content center. But I think that's just going to center it. I don't know if that's going to center it vertically, though. The other thing is I could do... Sure, why not? Hey, that did it. Um, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that looks right. Um, build it and see what happens. If this does work, I'm going to uh, yeah. Is that about the same height? Uh... can't tell I 
I don't think they're the same height. Uh, maybe they are. Either way, it's close enough for me. Um, I don't need that. So how did I get that to work? I did class name nav footer, nav footer. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know how I got it to work on the password manager, but... Um... Yeah, we'll take it. The other thing is that with the icons, this stuff, this stuff changes, so... Um... I don't know if I want to put icons in here, but anyway, I think that's what, that's all I'm going to do today. Um, yeah, this, How do I want to call this? It says nav item. Oh. I don't think I need that. Uh, I might come back to this just to try some stuff out, to test it out. Um, I don't particularly like how I did this, but... I think I'm going to put it here too. Yeah. Hopefully that will just work. Yeah. Okay. Um more tools, developer tools. Yeah, 48. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, what's today? Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, yeah, I should be streaming tomorrow. Um, probably probably keep working on the front end stuff what's so what's next the modal probably getting the modal working so there's a few things with the exercises list now um i want to populate the list from the back end and populate the list from the back end get the modal working so I can add an exercise. So that's what we're working towards now is adding, um, adding a new exercise, like creating a new, defining a new exercise. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep working on that, uh, tomorrow. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.